Hey there, welcome and welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing my Nightwish review um, series that I've been doing with Sleeping Sun. This was requested by Greg Ten. Um, this is such a beautiful song. It's so it's so different from most other Nightwish songs, but it's just it's just such a great song. Um, I know the story behind it that it was written to coincide with the um, a total solar eclipse in Finland, and um, it's was one of their first, if not their only, actual like ballad, true, you know, true like power ballad type um, songs. And the version I'm going to be doing is that the uh, Monsters of Rock, um, or Master Monsters of Rock, Masters of Rock um, concert, and it's going to be with Floor singing, and she just kills it. It is such a great song. I really enjoy that so let's go ahead and get into it hey quick note um i just wanted to let everybody know how much i appreciate all of y'all's support and everything y'all done for me it really does mean the world to me um i just i'm hoping to be able to improve everything i'm doing here improve my setup improve my tech my you know how i'm recording um, and any help y'all can give me really does mean the world. It does. I appreciate it so much. Thank you all so much. Everybody who was art, who has donated to me. It, it's, it's unbelievable. I really appreciate everything y'all do for me. And I just wanted to let y'all know. Thank you so much. Such a subtle beginning. Baseline right there is so good. Um, it's so, it's, it's hard to explain. This song is just so quiet and unassuming, yet powerful. It's, it is powerful. Her voice is just angelic. It can't, there's no other way to put it. She is just such an amazing singer. Um, I love seeing Kai back there with the, you know, other percussion instruments. He's using the shaker and the, um, mallet on on some of his big um kettle drums not kettle drums but the big the, his big big toms he has off to the side um and of course tuomas on the keyboards that very subtle just high almost bell sounding keyboard going and then i even mentioned it the um, marco's bass line there toward right at the beginning of the um chorus very cool. And as far as visuals go, 
the the reason why I picked this version is I might go all the way back to the beginning of the chorus. Right there, the lights. I realize the 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 crowd can't really see what's going on with the lights except for the lights are going over the crowd. But the way the pattern of the lights and the way they it washes over the crowd is like a wave. It's so cool. It's it's just looks amazing. Right here. I love this camera view. And it washes over the crowd. God, her voice can make me cry. I love that distorted, that guitar just coming in. Like I said, when, when um, Impu starts coming in, those very staccato, just three notes, ch -ch -ch -ch, it, is, it just adds so much power to it. I love what he adds to the song. Um, I've definitely seen, when I other, you know, I watch tons of reactions, and um, every once in a while you get people who like, oh, the, the Nightwish guitar isn't, obviously it's very good he's not going he's not shredding everywhere he doesn't need to he adds exactly what this song needs um impu is such an amazing guitarist and you see it on s some songs like you know romanticide where he just absolutely shreds oh, but people will see like um ghost love score where his guitar solo is basically another vocal line so it's not a shreddy. It's m very musical, very melodious, m melodious, melodious. Sorry. <laughs> um, it annoys me when I see someone saying that Impu is not a great guitarist because he is a spectacular guitarist who plays for the song, not for himself. And I love that. God, this is such a beautiful song. See, that, that solo, it's, like I said, with the Ghost Love Score one, that is a vocal line put on the guitar. And he does it so well. He doesn't stay over long. He plays what the song needs. That's what he does. That's his brilliance. He doesn't go to Tuomas and say, no, you need to give me a five-minute block to solo and go crazy. He doesn't know that. do that because he knows that's not what the song needs. 
I love, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the solo, actually. Um, I love the ending of this song. The buildup from the solo to the end of the song is just such a big buildup. And then it just drops to, um, I don't want to say nothing, but just drops to just let it sustain out and go away. And it's beautiful. And these vocal lines right here, my floor. I just let it hang and her beautiful thank you and that was Nightwish with Sleeping Sun I love the way that song ends where they just let the notes that they were playing just sustain out and just go they just kind of fade off on their own um, and of course um, Floor's little thank you i love it what she does out of the end of different songs it's just almost whispered and you can tell she truly is appreciative of the fans giving to them this is such a great song it's a beautiful song it's quiet it doesn't go crazy all over the place it doesn't need to it does exactly what it, what it's there for and i really love this song um if you like the song give it a like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, I really appreciate y'all watching. It really does mean the world to me. And thank you so much. I'll talk to you next time.